if you want to take this sport as far as you can take it, it's a full-time job. It's a full-time sport. I'll never be satisfied with the way I look. I wake up, it's bodybuilding, I go to sleep, bodybuilding. My whole life is bodybuilding. I eat the same things every single day. I keep it very simple. So it's all listed out. So I'm about to eat meal one, which is 175 grams of potato, two whole eggs, and 2.3 ounces of chicken. So I just look at my sheet, go to the fridge, and I make it every single day. My name is Olivia Rothenberg, and bodybuilding is my life. You know, back in high school, I, I drank a lot. I partied a lot. I started bodybuilding through encouragement from my boyfriend, which was about three years ago, and I was hooked from there. We lived on campus. He kept to himself at all times. He was so regimented. He wore all black, um, and he was in the calf every three hours, eating the exact same thing, which was just foreign to me. I saw her, and I was already bodybuilding at the time, so I immediately noticed her. As a female, she definitely stands out. So right away, I knew that if she had applied herself and started you know, living the lifestyle of a bodybuilder, it would come supernaturally to her. She clearly had the genetics for it. For my age, um, I was able to achieve a lot in a short amount of time. And now I'm just in the running to compete as a pro and then make it to the Olympia. I never thought it would go this well this fast. She's already has her pro status, competing for money, signed with a contract with a you know supplement company. We eat, breathe, sleep, bodybuilding from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed. We don't really do things that usual couples will do. Um, you know, if we go on a date, we sit down at the table and calculate the macros of the thing we're about to eat still. So today is my pull day. You know, you will see the intensity that I work at, the weight that I work with. I just make sure that every single rep on every single set is perfect. The number one misconception about bodybuilding is that you're gonna look like a man, you're gonna lose your femininity, your voice is gonna get super deep. I think both of those are wrong, absolutely. Because this sport is so, from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, sometimes I'm like, man, shut up. I don't wanna eat anymore. I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do that. At the end of the day, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. But you know, some days, some days are harder than others. How was that? Huh? I hit, I hit an 11-1, which is exactly what I was looking for. I want to be able to hit every single rep, every single set. The clients that I do work with, you know, they come to me every week saying, you know, thank you, I didn't know I could be this strong. My real main goal on social media is, is to show women you can train, how strong you can be. So I really hope that I encourage women to reach their maximum potential. Let's go. Come on. Two, let's go. Up, three. Two, Ooh. let's go. Up. I'll never be satisfied with, you know, the way I look, because that's his sport. But, you know, I really can't complain because I've made some insane progress since the last time I stepped on stage. So, you know, I'm still gonna push hard every single day. As long as my workout goes well, um, I hit all my numbers and I'm satisfied with my workout. Leaving the gym, you know, it's a sense of relief. At this point, you know, since I got my pro card, bodybuilding is my life. You know, I wake up bodybuilding, I go to sleep bodybuilding. My whole life is bodybuilding. <laughs>